Alright, Share Love T here, and we're checking out Galactica on Core Games. This one's by creator Tomoko. You are a pilot of a spaceship in a distant galaxy. You must collect resources to upgrade your ship. Open world and PvP with kill ranking system. So definitely some inspiration by Star Wars here. Uh, the thumbnail, you could definitely tell that's some Star Wars art there. So this is a pretty cool game. Um, Tomoko has made a lot of pretty cool, mostly uh, RPGs. Uh, he's trying to talk to me right now, but I will, um, well, I guess I'll talk to him. Whoops. Je fais un video pour toi, mon ami. So I'm just telling them that we're recording right now. So me, I'm uh, being from Quebec, I speak both English and French. My family's English, mostly speak English, but could also speak French. Tomoko, I believe, is um, French, but he's from Switzerland, so pretty cool diversity of countries on here. Um, people from all over the place and on the most part I, I, I've had nothing but good experiences with this community most people are really nice really positive you know everybody's here to, uh, to be creative and have a good time and help each other if they can so I took a lot of hits there okay so a lot of the time you're going to want to be holding M to have the map out so you know where you're going. You can see on on the left it shows us what all the different icons are for. You could see other people if there's other people in the game. Uh, you could see on the right of the map there Tomoko's over a gold coin I believe. So I've found that most of the time you're holding the M button, which seems kind of weird. But I mean, how else would you know where you're going? So you can see we have metal, it enhances our HP. The missiles enhance our damage. And then the planets and the ships you have to fight against, but they give you, they pay out metal or coins. Or is, is, it might be both, I'm not 100%. We'll see, there's a planet right here, we'll, we'll try and get him, but I, I, we're pretty low on health, so I'm thinking he's probably going to destroy us. Which is uh, alright. I don't mind taking a death or two. Alright, so we're going to pull our map out again. So one thing I could definitely suggest is... Uh, you press the, press the M button and it brings out the map and then the map stays out until you press the M button again would be nice because on the most part I'm 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 in, I'm in this uh, on this map almost the whole time now one thing you, you'll notice is on the map sometimes there's there's obstacles like ships or debris or stuff like that maybe asteroids that you won't see on the map so you see look right there see this big ship it's not actually on the map it doesn't really do anything it's just there for decoration purposes but if you run into it you could take some damage and it'll also stop you so every once in a while you just want to make sure you're on the right line and then you want to come out of that map system But yeah, this is a this is a really cool. This is something f very different. Um, I feel like the effects could be a little amped up a little bit, like more like uh, heavier trails, or maybe make it a little more customizable. But I am also very early on. I'm, I have level five on all my uh, things. You could see there at the bottom. There's a nice bar telling us what our current levels are and 
how much more resources we need for the designated thing. But yeah, there's definitely a game, a couple of games from Tomoko I'd like to cover. Um, like I said, this is very outside his, his real house from what I know from the games that I've played from him. So very cool to see um, him trying something different here. I mean, it still has the leveling up. Kind of like his other RPGs, but... Still a very, very different spin on it. Now I could imagine Tomoko must be leveled up quite a lot, so I don't I don't think I want to go tussle with him for a while. I'll stick to upgrading. Whoa. Don't want to run into that guy. I know you're excited. You want to tell me your exciting news. I don't know what it is, but I can, I can feel your excitement. Okay. Hello. So we have 27 of 32 for our missiles. And I'm not sure. Once in a while that the, the firing gets stuck on. I'm not really sure. So I just clicked it there and it stopped. So I'm not really 100% sure how that works. Oh, we don't want to fight that ship right now. We're at 20 health. Hmm, I guess we'll go... We'll get this medal and then there's another medal on the way to that health pack. A little bit below it try and avoid those planets on the way there if we get a little if we get healed up a bit we might be able to fight at least the white ones you could see there's three different colors for each uh, the ships and the planets uh, the white ones are the weakest ones and then the blue ones are the more difficult ones and you could see they pay out they pay out respectively depending on how tough they are Yeah, I'm always I'm always happy to see other games like this. Like, I like um, simulations or RPGs or you know, <clears throat> arena shooters. And you know, the more standard games that come out on Core Two are often pretty fun. But seeing something different like this, this is like uh, almost like an old Asteroids game, except with a bigger map and more leveling up. So very, very cool. Another game that I've I've uh, covered on my channel was Starhawks, which was also a space shooter, but again, very different from this. That was more of a um, like a rail shooter kind of, where you're on a designated path and you're trying to dodge the enemies. So Tomoko is asking us right now what we think of his new game. And I think it's awesome. Dude, really. You killed it. Alright, let's get some more metal. We have a long way to go to the 800. The, these metal uh, pickups on the map don't give you very much metal. You really want to be fighting the either the planets or the ships to get the metal. Uh, 
And let's go see, I don't know. We have 48 health, this this planet will probably kill us, but... Then we'll respawn with full health, so it's not the worst plan to go try and take him on anyways. And we, were, we came pretty close, he was down to 43 there, so... We weren't far off. And you can see on the map there, there's a little red um, skull and crossbones that shows you where your last death was. So if you want to go take on whatever it was that you were fighting when you died, you know where it was. Nice and easy. It's a good touch there. I feel like I've seen a, um, a Star Trek online game that that maybe played a bit similar to this. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but it kind of looked like this layout a bit. And I believe it's a free game on, on the Epic Game Store. But, so many games, so little time. Couldn't possibly try all the games or play all the games I'd like to. Not in this lifetime anyways. Who knows what the afterlife might be though, right? Maybe if there's a huge game room with all the arcade games we could ever want. And all the video games we could ever want and we never get tired. Just game all day. Or whatever it is your favorite hobby is. It's just waiting there for you. So, global total kills. So we only need two kills to get on. Or we would need three kills to get on that leaderboard. But like I said, Tomoko's, it's his game, so I'm assuming he's leveled up pretty well. I don't think we want, I don't think we're gonna get our kills off of him unless he wants to be nice and give us kills. But it's interesting that it's PvP like this. Um, definitely lends to the ability to grief people like if you're if you're a high level you could just go around smoking new players which I'm not sure if you have like a certain amount of uh, time where you're not able to be attacked like maybe you have to get to a like level two or three I'm not a hundred percent but I definitely think you could pick on people in this game if you wanted to, which is kind of an unfortunate um, situation for PvP and uh, a leveling up system that I don't think you could really get around. But the map's nice and big, so if you wanted to just avoid avoid enemies or other other players you could definitely do that and just go around leveling up and getting resources killing killing these enemies that are a lot easier to kill than than other players the map almost reminds me of battleship to uh the way it's laid out. You sunk my battleship. Maybe it's going into the map or something that, that makes your firing go automatic. Grab this health pack. Maybe we'll we'll go see if we can take down this blue this blue ship. 
I can imagine we're gonna get smoked here, but well, let's see. Ooh, I think we got him. That should be a good amount of resources, too. Let's see. What you got for us? Did we even pick it up? We must have. For some reason, I thought the the resources popped out on the map. We might have we might have just picked it up there while we we're pretty much inside the ship. You can see also the ships and the planets have a certain amount of uh, seconds before they respawn. So if you had one that you wanted to uh, farm, you could kind of just sit around and wait wait for it to respawn and then kill it again. Oh, see the resources popped out of that one. So yeah, we just must have we must have just missed it popping out of the other one. There's a health pack right here. Might as well pick it up while we're here. Yeah, so if any of you guys uh, have tried this game, let, let us know down in the, the comments what you thought of it. It's always nice to have feedback for people. Also helps the channel. Even if it's a negative comment. I mean, any comments... Uh, any comments are good comments, unfortunately. The way YouTube works. But yeah, good, good or bad feedback? What, what do you guys think of this game? Maybe let me know uh, if you guys have played any similar games on Core. Um, I'd love, I'd love to check some more games like this out. Always a fun theme to be in space. Driving a spaceship, flying around. So we've leveled up both our missiles and our speed to level 6 so far since we've been on. So you can see you, you get through it. There's also a coin shop down there. Hmm, interesting. I don't believe I've been spending my coins, but I don't think I've collected many. I can see in the top right corner I have 105 coins. Let's see what there is for that. A central cannon for 500 so that seems to be the cheapest um, upgrade and we are a long way off of that you need to be level 10 anyways okay interesting interesting is that metal right there I think we might as well collect that might as well for, for some reason, the number doesn't seem to be popping up. Normally, a, a little number would pop up to tell you how many resources you got. Let's see if it pops up on this next one. Hmm. It did not, so I'm not. I'm, I'm curious what's going on there. But yeah, definitely a good multiplayer game, especially if um, you have a friend that you guys are a similar level. You know, you could really duke it out in this. It would be pretty fun, I could imagine. But you have to be somewhat near the, the same level. Or else it wouldn't be wouldn't be very fun or fair for one of the one person and it looks like right in the middle there there's a VIP shop might as well check what check out what's there you could also check the scoreboard 
Okay, so I have shows I have two deaths right now. So this is just your kills and deaths for this game because last time I played I had a bunch more deaths, so. Let's check what this is. Okay, so you could pay actual credits to upgrade. Is that 10 levels or oh 10 missiles? Okay, so that would that would level us up once. Uh, we would need two of these to level up our speed. And yeah, we could level up our max HP. So I guess that's a pretty reasonable price. 30 credits doesn't seem like too much, even though it's not the biggest upgrade. And yeah, like I said, uh, Tomoko has some other games that I'd like to check out, so uh, I could imagine covering some more of his games on the channel, so you guys could definitely look forward to that. Let's go take this planet on. We're not just destroying starships, we're destroying whole planets. That one kind of looks like Saturn has a ring and everything. Tomoko must have liked that planet. He put a ring on it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That joke was low hanging fruit. And yeah, I think we'll stop there for today though. That's uh pretty fun game. I could imagine spending a lot of time upgrading your ship once in a while, duking it out with some other players. Um, so if you're looking for it, it's Galactica on Core Games by creator Tomoko. Share love out. Till next time.